Okay, do that, okay? Because if we're only an hour or two from the game, I don't got time to be babysitting nobody. All the questions right now, because when we get out there, it's gonna be loud, okay? It's gonna be loud, all right? We'll stretch, after we stretch, we're gonna go through our plays, and then we're gonna get some shots up, we'll go through our plays, and then it's gonna be some learning. Uh, Maurice Riddick, assistant coach here at uh, AZ Compass Prep. I've uh, been here for the last five years. Oh man, uh, I had a friend of mine who was coming, just he was coming to Arizona and he had some family members there and he, he was coming to visit. So he asked me if I wanted to come. I was like, cool, it's, it's no problem. I was at that time, we have just, uh, we was in the playoffs, just lost in the playoffs. I was coaching overseas and, uh, and I came here, um, started training some kids because we was in the gym. And at that time, my wife was pregnant uh, with our first son. So, you know, it kind of, I started to think about, you know, man, trying to get my papers for my kids, you know, and my wife to get to the States. I'm like, man, this might be a perfect time, but, you know, I need to find a job. So, um, coach, you know, Ed was the head coach at the time with Pete. And um, he knew my best friend, he knew Coach Ed, and he talked to Coach Ed, and he was like, man, I got a, got a guy, man, that do player development. He coached, you know, overseas. He played for 13 years as a professional. Man, he would love to, you know, get involved, help the guys out. So, you know, Ed invited me to the, to the school. And, um, you know, from there, we just built this relationship where, you know, I was, I told him, I said, listen, man, I just finished coaching. You guys don't have to pay me. I just, I'm just here to help the kids. You know, whatever you want me to do, I help. You know, so I, I was end up, end up being head of player development at that time when AZ Compass Pro. Dang it. <laughs> Show everyone who we are, 
that we, um, we're disciplined today, that we work as a team, that we bring our own energy, that we're focused, and we continue to move in the right direction. Lord, we pray as we go out here and get to win today, that you protect us, and we thank you for this victory. In your name we pray. Amen. Good job, good job, good job, good job. Come on, guys. One at a time. Well, I think it was easy for him because he really wanted it. I mean, he's a kid, obviously. He's tough. He's tough. I mean, coming from Chicago, you know, his brother for wh who he is, you know, the pedigree of, of the fears. I mean, this kid is a tough kid. We knew exactly what we was getting coming to it. Um, and he cares about the game. He, he, I mean, if he's not having a good game or he felt like he let the team down, you can see it on him. So it's just about building him, uh, getting him to see, uh, you know, lot, watch a lot of film. And he's a worker. I mean, it, it wasn't really hard getting him adjusted to it. I think the number one thing would be always when you're playing against other players that are at your level, um, how can you still be yourself but also allow the ball to come up off your hands? Um, and he's always been able to be open to that. And I think it's always a learning curve of learning how one is going and another going. And, and that's the thing, when you master that at his level and the type of player he is, that, that separates him from a lot of point guards.
they can't stop you. They can't. Public announcement, they can't stop you. So, 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 how we, so, so, so the game right now, listen, it's basketball, the game on runs. It's two halves. Okay, it's zero, zero, goose egg. We win this half, we win the ball game. Listen for a second. All right, listen up. So, what we have to do, again, they haven't stopped you from getting to the basket. Your three balls falling. You're getting there too. Trusting this, okay, okay. Keep trusting it, right? We been we went to the roll kill, right? That's what we we talk roll about, kill. right? Roll we went kill. to DC, got two, came to Memphis, got two in the two hostile environments, right? Now you guys have earned earned this opportunity, the birthplace of basketball. That's where we're going next, mm -hmm. okay? Where dreams are made, where every number one pick ever, they all had an opportunity to play on that court. I had a, a fan came out and was like, yo, man, man, I love your boys, man. They discipline, they play hard. Man, it's like, that's basketball right there, man. Man, I travel for a living. I'm going to follow y'all, man. Text me your schedule. I just want to watch good basketball. Hmm. Like, you guys are, or what you're doing is you're creating your own fan base. And you're doing it with your brothers. And I hope you guys can see what happens if you just stick together and follow the game plan. Right? Well, we've been coming out, bro. First quarter, who? <laughs> we don't talk about the first quarter no more. Because we've been on business. All right? Hey, I need a picture with you, too. I'm in trouble with this for years. You don't smoke with, with uh, Steven Jackson when he comes to the city? I do. Yeah. I do. Yeah, let him get a picture with the little one.
it's a daily it, it's a daily um, conversation you know it's a daily reminder you know um, a lot of the kids on this this stage right here they they're here because they want to be better uh, number one better athletes they have aspiration to go to the next level um, we just find daily things that we can remind them of why they're here because it's tough you know a lot of these guys we're in Arizona so a lot of these guys are not from you know are not even close to to Arizona so you know, having these kids, uh, reminding them, pushing them really hard. I'm also bringing in people who've already done it before. So I think, uh, you know, in this era, this is more like a show me era. You know, they can, they, we talk to them all day. They, and they can listen to us and they not, you know, have somebody that they see maybe like in the NBA or someone they respect to come in and, and just let them know, listen, I was once in your shoes um, and I felt the same way you felt. And I was looking at the coach the same way you looking at them. Um, I think it hits a little bit better for them because, um, you know, we talk all the time with these kids, but we try to, we want to create opportunities for our kids to, to just continue to learn as much as possible. But yeah, it's a daily reminder that, you know, um, these are the things that, the habits they have to build. You know, we, we call them reps in basketball. Um, you got to create daily reps, you got to get reps, um, you got to build good habits too on and off the court, so, yeah. Mentally, you gotta be locked in. Tonight, when the phone's gonna take you away, go get your treatment, get sleep. Tomorrow morning, get your food, watch film, ask all the questions, okay? And then I'm telling you, man, like it's gonna be a. How'd you feel today? I'm good. I know it's done now, I hurt a little bit. That's why I raised you. And I'm gonna ice after I'm done, like he is there. <laughs> Yeah. All right. My name is Moses Hips. I'm from Voorhees, New Jersey, and I go to AZ Compass. I was at McKee Train High School in Atlanta, and then um, Coach Mo and Coach Pete had reached out, and then it seemed like a good opportunity. I already knew Coach Mo had worked out with him prior, and like I knew how he'd get down, how he could make me better player, and like just help me prepare for college and the future. You know what I mean? So I seen AZ Compass as a good position in a good place to get better. Nah, it wasn't my first time hearing about him because I had seen him play in the um, the underclassman All-American game in Atlanta. And he had actually won MVP of that game. And I just, like, that's my first time seeing him live, but I always knew who he was because his brother and stuff like that. But, like, I just knew he was, like, a smooth guard who can get to his spots, shifty, could shoot the ball, stuff like that. So playing with him, it's been, like, a good experience, too. Like a, Cause like he's a good teammate he's a good friend too like he stays in my house and stuff like that we always go, just hang out and chill and then on the court we get working with coach mo us too um we be in the gym we both some gym rats so like that's i, th I think that's where we bond for real his playmaking ability is jump shot like i feel like he's an underrated shooter he really can like shoot for real and then his playmaking ability like he gets everyone involved he sees things that other people don't really see so there you go, right here. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's something I, I've noticed about his game. Why do you say scream? Why you say scream? Bro, put these <laughs> dogs away, bro. Bro, what do you want me to do? Bro, get up, go get some socks. Nah, 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 it's too late. Yeah, dogs. hey, bro, it's too late. Too late. Yeah, bro. It's you too late, bro. bro. Uh-uh, bro. You got some kangaroos, bro. <laughs> I said, I'm not even no dog. <laughs> I don't know what them is, bro. Bro, why you just back to me? <laughs> bro, come on, bro. You're not even no dog, bro. Everybody else got a dog. Well, I love you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 A pug? A pug? <laughs> yeah. It was not human, bro. I know that for a fact. <laughs> 
Yo, probably zoomed into my feet. Probably zoomed into my feet. Wait, wait, zoomed in on the drums. <laughs> I knew that's what he was worried about. He was just getting wicked inside his body. You like, man. You funny, bro. Bro, did I tell you that you could laugh? What are you talking about? I'm just not late, bro. Why are you saying, oh, VJ be calling you his son, bro? Yeah. Yeah. You said what? VJ be calling you his son. You know what it is with me, bro. You know what I was in the. Oh, that room was speaking like that. He said, okay, y'all can still drop them off at 9 Oh. Uh, bro, please, please, bro, put your kangaroos off the bed, please, bro. <laughs> please. Just, uh, what you call it? All right, bro, I'm not looking. <laughs> Just, yeah. I can't, bro, that is bad. Hey, yeah, hey, yes, please. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Cam, bro, watch out. What are you doing, bro? That's mine. That's you, bro. I know that's you, bro. I see you. I see, I see your hand. Stop. Pull back. Just lower. Oh, uh, hold back. At Washington State with a sign that says, I love Kylan. <laughs> That's crazy. My birthday probably looked at it. Who you gonna fool with? Dang, you don't want my business. <laughs> 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 who that is, Sammy? Who that be? Ain't that what y'all be saying in Florida? Who that be? Who that be? <laughs> who that be? Who that be? That's just that's just V's personality. Like, I'm from California too, and I you know what talking about. <laughs> that's his personality. Like sometimes yeah, he'll just yeah, start waving and say, "Thank you, thank you, thank you." He's not here. Start waving like, "Thank you." That's his Appreciate y'all. Yeah. Appreciate <laughs> y'all. <laughs> that's just his personality. Talking to himself, so, but no, I appreciate y'all. <laughs> appreciate who? <laughs> He missed the water with the dub versus from the He said, my knee buckle. Everything's And when he said, you want to say, my knee buckle. The thing is, the thing is, the thing is. Oh. What? The water with the dub? Like, every time you like, dunk off, every time you try to go listen, from one, you listen, listen, <laughs> listen, 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 listen. <laughs> Shit happens. No, but like, every time you go from one, listen, 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 listen. Dang. Bro, bro you're seven foot, but listen, bro. Listen, 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 listen. Listen to my friends. That happened, bro. Bro, you're seven foot. I'm not hearing that. Even if your knee buckled. Yeah, even if your knee buckled, bro. Sammy, you good, bro? Huh? Bro, I'm not, I'm not tripping, bro. There you are. It says here, right here, right? I think there's scissors in my bag. No, no. No, open it. No, open it. Eighteen, they can't open it. Bro. Yeah, bro. Open it in. Open it. Open it. I don't want none, so I'm not opening it. Just open it for me. I don't want none. Hat. Who's opening? Open it. No, no, open it. Nah, that. Oh, what you got? Hahaha. Hahaha. Not that hard to open. This man is eighteen. Still can't open the bag of candy. I don't think he should get enough if he can open it. Let's go, go eat me one. What? This game's still going on. There's another game? 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 There's another I thought we'd have a good chance of beating the Boozer twins. Do you not really want to like lock in and guard Cam? But I'll sit on bro, no doubt. Oh, Why do you guys do that? Oh, no. He said I'll sit on bro. He said, Paul, they need to let you finish your sentence. That one was so clear. Oh, okay, but you doing that shit because one was taking two groups at one time. Okay, so you were going to both at the same time. Oh, God, I'm not. But well, they'll start this jump, bro. Right? As long as we're doing good. I can set the cups I have on you if you want. Yeah, I oh. always used to hate playing against those pesky people. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's see. They get them. If you can touch me. No, no. All right, don't worry about it. I know where bed you sleep on tonight. You guys in here? Yep, it's over with for him. You guys here? No, he shared with Moses, but me and Moses. Moses been wanting to get you too. This is the perfect opportunity. Bro, if Grayson lose to him, bro. Oh, Grayson meant to be that good? Bro, it's lethal. 
Uh, they're like 15 and 0 right now. Five and a half minutes. Do they, do they play punk? Yes, they play the best teams in Atlanta. They beat A's in Atlanta. They beat all the best teams in Atlanta. Hey, where the... Where the Simi tall dude that's playing with Jake? Yeah. He right there, Jake. Harry's able to break down the defense. Reverse Richards. Final two minutes of the third. A ten-point game. Harry's on top. The Bulls of Arizona. In the Rams of Georgia, shot in the corner for three. That one sails over the basket. This one always looks so dark on you. It does hurt when you take it off. No, it should feel pretty nice when you take it off. Yeah, it feel good. It just be sometimes itching a little bit. This how you know. This how you know a person tough with the can, though. Don't lie. This how you know. Yeah, this how you know you you saying tough with the can. Smooth. You know I'm on that tomorrow, bro. We're going crazy tomorrow. Tomorrow gonna be a movie. I touched the group chat. No, they all know I got out. Turn that in. People recognize our energy when we play well on defense. They do. Okay? So go out there, man. Like, enjoy this moment, man. You have earned this moment. Alright? But we still got business. Okay, this is a business trip. This game is all about business. You're trying to put yourself in a position, right? To brand your business. Okay? So if you want those guys that's talking early, IQ. Okay? So be a good teammate. Set the tune the first four minutes. Okay? Set the tune the first four minutes. And how you do that? Ball movement. Like it has to move. Not too high, not too high. Not too high. I think the middle of the game. I don't even think it's a question. Oh, that's the end of
ain't talking shit. Hell! Fuck, man. That's the easiest fucking win. His body language, his body language was impeccable the whole time, whether he was in the game or out of the game. It's some of y'all that were on the bench and you fucking pouted. You fucking pouted like fucking babies. You fucking pouted. You fucking pouted. And I fucking, I, I hate that. I hate that. I hate that selfishness that you can pout because you didn't do something. You got taken out the game. jumping up and down like they want to see what has to do with you guys but you don't come prepared you guys weren't prepared this morning they didn't show up to shit they didn't show up to shit you watch this game you probably gonna throw up you dudes had 12 opportunities to just lay the ball up in transition bro what are we talking about what are we talking about what are we talking about? Fellas, you know how hard y'all play defensively? You know how fun it was watching y'all play defense? Now, you're outside of the community. But again, here's the thing. Guy could probably don't matter as much. I don't know. It don't matter. 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 When it don't matter. When it don't matter. So Geico when it don't matter. matter. When it don't matter. Geico don't matter. When it don't matter. When it don't matter. When it don't matter. This nigga Sammy so I kept seeing Sammy. Ooh, ooh, Luke, Luke, come here, come here. Yeah, Sammy, yeah. tell me, I got the screen for you. I got the screen for you. I said, no. Sammy wants the screen to pop. He will shoot that. Hey bro, stop playing. That's right. You don't got no bounce. I'm just saying with Jeremiah said. Hey bro. What's up for you getting on you? Ten. Nah, he just missed layup. That's all he did. Hey, hey, Jim, we just watched like five wide open layups yesterday. He reverse layup. Oh, no bounce. <laughs> Hey Z, the goat. Hey Z, Z, Zion, the goat right here, bro. MJ, the goat right here. Uncle, that's Uncle. That's my guy. That's my guy. That's Uncle. Hold up. How did you make the lead, bro? He was really nice. Gotta give me with the walk. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, did you give me that look away? Resilient because you never know how a series can go. It's how you 
mentally stay strong throughout that, that defines you. I know you can be. You too can be a television sports analyst. Just read the television. Thanks. Thanks, EJ. There's three incredible game winners. Number three. Dwayne Wade with the three. <laughs> it's good and the heat went. Okay. Okay, Jay. Last but not least, the Warriors and Thunder tied in overtime. Steph Curry from way down. <laughs> I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, to hit me, bro. Good look, I was like, <laughs> tell me a lot. Bro, 
that you got with you. Come on, let it go, and we need you right now to be a motherfucker. We need you to be a motherfucker that you are.
Shit wasn't going right for certain people, but they put their egos aside, and it was about the team. You did that, young man. You know what I'm saying? You wasn't having a typical Jeremiah game, but you did that. Hey, real quick. That last play, man, Sammy was killing, and he said let Jeremiah make a play and put his trust in his point guard, and Jeremiah did exactly what we asked him to. Got a paint touch, kicked it out, and Luke and Jeremiah won a 50-50 ball. Y'all party, man. What the fuck you with that, man? Just say, y'all. Let's one thing real quick. Where the Fight through adversity. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate y'all. Good way. One, two, three. Tell your six. One, two, three. Four, five, six. That separates him from a lot of point guards. He's a special kid. He really is. And I'm, I'm not just talking about ability wise. Off the court, he's a great kid, man. Like, you, people want to be around him. You know, he's a good kid. He wants to have fun. He's, he, you know, he joke around. He has a great personality. He talks to people. He's really personable. So that goes a long ways, you know what I mean, when it comes to, you know, being a professional athlete, you know, so he has adjusted well. Um, it was good to see him play really well last night because he's been putting in a lot of work. Uh, he really cares about it. He texts, you know, he texts me one night. He's like, man, what can I do to be better? And I'm like, Dang. because we won the game, you know, but he was like, well, what can I do to be better? So he's always looking for that edge to, to continue to grow. And I think that's what's going to separate him from other guards, honestly. He knows what he wants to get out of it. It's intentional and he's, he's locked in.